Come on, everybody. Let's go. Get ready for a summertime adventure from another summertime story. This is the story of Can You Help Me Find My Smile? Written and told by award-winning author Carl Summer. Once there was a young bear named Teddy who lived with his dad, mom, and sister Susie. Teddy was a very happy baby. He always smiled. But as Teddy grew older, he began to lose his smile. That made him feel grumpy. Dad and mom loved Teddy and did many nice things for him. They gave him gifts for special times, played games with him, and took him on fishing trips. Still, Teddy felt grumpy. He hardly ever smiled. Look at poor Teddy here. He's not catching any fish. He's grumpy now. Mama has a fish. Papa's pole of fish is jumping out of the water. Susie has a fish. And poor Teddy. And now he's grumpy sitting there, not having any fun fishing. But Dad and Mom loved him. And that's the key. Teddy did not like being grumpy. If I just had a new bat and ball, he thought, I know I'd get my smile back. Sure enough, when he got a new bat and ball, Teddy smiled. He was smiling when it was his turn to bat, but he quit smiling when it was his turn to play in the outfield. Grumpy Teddy did not like running after the ball. He only wanted to hit the ball. Playing ball isn't much fun after all, grumbled Teddy. What do we see here about Teddy? I, Claire? He's showing signs of being lazy. Yes, he's showing signs of being lazy. He likes batting the ball and hitting the ball. That's fun. But to run after the ball, playing out in the outfield, he didn't like to do that. And there we see something inside of Teddy that he tends to be lazy. Teddy's dad and mom gave him a new bicycle for his birthday. Hooray, shouted Teddy. This bike will surely bring back my smile. Dad and mom took him to the park and happy Teddy had great fun riding down the hill. But unhappy Teddy grumbled when he had to pedal back up the hill. Before long, riding his bike did not make him smile anymore. It seemed everything Teddy did only made him happy for a short while. Teddy became a very grumpy bear. Now he never smiled. What do we see here about Teddy? Miguel? He's still being lazy. Yes, he's still being lazy. He likes to ride down a hill, and I, I like to ride a bike down a hill too. Don't get me wrong but he grumbles about going up the hills. Now he's not even happy anymore. Seems like everything he does, there's, there's some fun in it, but there's too much work, and now he's very unhappy. Poor Teddy, now he's always unhappy. Teddy wanted so much to be happy. One day he told a friend, I don't like being so grumpy. Can you help me find my smile? Sure, said his friend. We'll go to Playland. You'll find your smile there. Off they went. Teddy and his friend rode all kinds of rides. Teddy tried very hard to find his smile at Playland. But the more rides he rode, the grumpier he became. The following day, Teddy asked another friend, Can you help me find my smile? I sure can, answered his friend. I know just what to do. Let's go swimming in the river. You'll find plenty of smiles there. Everyone was happy and had fun swimming, except Teddy. He just lay on his float with a big frown on his face. Some time later, Teddy told an older friend, I've tried very hard to find my smile, but nothing works. Maybe I can ask my grandpa what to do. His friend shook his head and laughed. Grandpas can't help kids. They're too old. Well, Teddy asked, 
Do you know where my smile is? Of course, your smile is inside you. Just keep telling yourself that you're happy and then put a big smile on your face. What did his friend tell him about grandpas? You sure? That they're too old and they can't help you. Yeah, grandpas are way too old to help you, but I can help you. Now, I have 20 grandchildren and I have five children, all right? And sometimes people forget that I was once exactly your age. And I've taught many, many children through the years. I've been a high school teacher. I have 19 years of teenage experience with my own children. I, and we know a lot. And unfortunately, in our country today, older people are not respected. I know a lot. And if you're smart, go to your grandparents. And particularly go to your parents. Ask your grandparents different things. We were once your age. And I've written these storybooks to help you to learn. And this young fella said, oh, no, they're too old. I know what to do. And he tells them what to do. Just tell yourself you're happy. And there's people like that. I'm okay, you're okay. Just tell yourself you'll be okay. And Teddy tries it. He looks in the mirror. I am happy. I'm really very happy. And he puts a smile on his face. I'm really very, very happy. It didn't work. No, it's not going to work. You don't get it. You don't find happiness by try, try talking yourself into it. But there's a secret to happiness, and we're going to find out what happens now, how he does find his happiness. Teddy did just what his friend said. He went home and stood in front of a mirror. I am happy, he said. I am very happy. I am really very happy. Then he grinned as big as he could. But it was not a real smile, and it did not make him happy. In fact, it made him even grumpier. One day, Teddy's family went to visit Grandpa and Grandma. They lived on a farm with many kinds of animals. Maybe I can do something on the farm that will make me happy, thought Teddy. I can feed the animals and play with them. That should make me smile. Teddy and Susie fed the ducks and chickens. Susie had lots of fun and lots of smiles. But not Teddy. He never smiled. Teddy and Susie fed the goats and rode the horses. Susie had lots of fun and lots of smiles. But not Teddy. He never smiled. Nothing Teddy did on the farm made him smile. Now he was grumpier than ever. Teddy went to Grandpa, who was sitting in his rocking chair. Grandpa lifted Teddy onto his lap. Then he gave him a great big hug. Grandpa loved Teddy. Teddy, asked Grandpa, where is your smile? I don't know, answered Teddy. Maybe I can help you find it, said Grandpa. Teddy shook his head. I don't think so. My friend says... Grandpas can help kids. They're too old. Grandpa laughed a big laugh. Then he asked, Did your friend help you find your smile? No, said Teddy softly. Suddenly he thought, All my friends have been wrong. Maybe Grandpa can help me. Teddy lowered his head and whispered, Grandpa, can you help me find my smile? Grandpa stopped rocking. He gently lifted Teddy's head. When you try to make only yourself happy, said Grandpa, you will always be sad and grumpy. But when you try to make others happy, you will find your smile. What was Grandpa's advice to Teddy? Hi, right, Mercy. That if you make your, only yourself happy, then you'll be grumpy. But if you make others happy, you'll be happy as well. Did you listen to that? If you only make yourself happy, you're going to be grumpy, but you're only going to find happiness by making other people happy. And that's the secret. Learning to make other people happy. You'd be very smart if you do that. That doesn't seem right, Grandpa, said Teddy. If I stop trying to make myself happy, then I'll really be sad. No, no, said Grandpa as he patted Teddy's head. Come with me. 
Where are we going? asked Teddy. You'll see, answered Grandpa. They climbed into Grandpa's car and off they went. As they drove around the town, Grandpa said, Look, Teddy, everywhere you go, there are those who are poor and needy. If you help those who really need help, you will find your smile. I don't understand, Grandpa, said Teddy, shaking his head. But I'm going to do just as you say. I'm going to try really hard to make others happy. What did Teddy say he was going to do here, Juliet? I'm going to try to make other people happy. Yes. He doesn't understand it, but he's going to try to make other people happy. He's going to listen to what Grandpa told him to do. Does it make sense to him? But he's going to try it to see if it works. Soon it was time for Teddy and his family to leave the farm. They packed their bags and waved goodbye to Grandpa and Grandma. On the way home, Teddy thought and thought about what Grandpa had said. He began thinking about others instead of himself. He wondered, how can I make someone else happy? Finally, he got an idea. The next morning, Teddy woke up early. He was ready to get started. First he made his bed. Then he put all his clothes and toys away. He had decided to clean the whole room. This will surely make Mom happy, Teddy said to himself. While cleaning his room, Teddy thought about how surprised and happy Mom would be. The more he thought about making Mom happy, the less grumpy he felt. Teddy did not know it, but as he cleaned his room, he began to smile. What did Teddy decide to do? Isaiah? He decided to clean his room. Yes, he's going to clean up his room to make who happy, Te Isaiah? His mom. His mom. He says, I'm going to try to make my mom happy. Uh-oh, I'm going to ask you a question. And you boys and girls, too, are watching this here. Does your room look like this? Messy? Why don't you go and make your mom happy and clean it and keep it clean? She's, how many times has your mom told you, keep your room clean? But some children they just don't listen. Make your mom happy. Keep your room clean. It's a good habit to get into. All right? As Teddy is doing this, what's happening to Teddy? Jocelyn? He's beginning to smile. Yes, Teddy is beginning to smile. He's making his mom happy, and there's something inside of him that's making him happy. He doesn't know it because he's listening to Grandpa's advice, making someone else happy. And you try to do that. Go home tonight and clean up your room. Make it nice. Think of making your mother happy. What else can you do to make your mom happy? Okay, Emma? Washing the dishes. Yes, washing the dishes. What else? Andrew? Cook for her. Cook for her, very good. What else can you do? Miguel? You can help her clean up the house. Clean up the house? What else can you do, Jocelyn? You can pray for her if she's hurt. What else can you do for your mom? Deshaun? Surprise her by doing something without her asking. Yes, you do that. Without her even asking, and you do it. Try to make your mom happy. Doing things around the home, vacuuming, doing the dishes. And whatever else there is need, dusting the house. Learn to help your mom. It's important. Another important thing, it helps you to learn to work, which is very important in life. It's pity the poor children who never work around the home because it leads to a lazy life. It's good for you to learn how to do housework. In school, Teddy sat in front of a boy named Billy. Billy often hid Teddy's books just to make him mad. Sometimes even tried to get Teddy in trouble with the teacher. But this time, Billy was in trouble. He had lost his notebook, and he did not want to tell the teacher that his mother did not have the money to buy another one. Teddy remembered what Grandpa had told him about making others happy. Teddy knew Billy was poor, so he turned around and said, Billy, you can have my extra notebook. Billy was so happy. Thank you, Teddy. 
Teddy did not know it, but he had a smile on his face and he had a new friend, Billy. What's the best way to turn an enemy into a friend? Olivia? To do something nice for them. Yes, learn to do something good to an enemy. That turns enemies into friends. And don't just say, I'm going to get even with you, boy, tit for tat. You kill my dog, you, I'm going to kill your cat. When I was in the Marine Corps, I had a, someone that was slept over me, and that was his favorite saying, you know, tit for tat, you kill my dog, I'll kill your cat. No, no. You'd be very unhappy to live that life, always looking for revenge. I'm going to get even with you. I'm going to get even. No, be kind. Show kindness to your enemies. It turns them into friends. While walking home from school, Teddy saw a friend having trouble carrying her books. Bonnie, called Teddy. Let me help you. Thank you, she said. Teddy felt very happy as he carried Bonnie's books. He did not know it, but he had a big smile on his face. That afternoon, Mom went into Teddy's bedroom. Was she ever surprised? Who cleaned up this room? There stood Teddy with the biggest smile on his face. I did, Mom. I'm so happy, said his mother. Then she gave Teddy a great big hug. That night, Teddy felt so good. He had made his mom happy. Now he wanted to make his dad happy. But what could he do? The garden, thought Teddy. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to help dad pull weeds from the garden. I'll do it all by myself. Will he ever be surprised and happy? The next afternoon, while his friends played, Teddy went to work in the garden. He pulled out all the weeds by himself. He even did extra work. He raked the yard. It was hard work, but Teddy was happy thinking about how glad Dad would be when he saw the garden and the yard. Teddy did not know it, but while working, he had a great big smile on his face. What can you do to make your dad happy? Juliet? You can pay the bill for him. Pay the bills for him, okay. <laughs> what can you do to make your dad happy? Okay, Isaiah? You can mow the lawn for him. Yes, mow the lawn for him. Jocelyn? Do things without being asked. Yes, do things without even being asked. That will really make a dad happy. Deshaun? Buy his favorite food, and once you eat a little bit, give him the rest. Very good, all right? Give food to your dad. Don't eat it all by yourself. Save some for your dad. What else can you do? Emma? Do his laundry. Do his laundry. Olivia? Wash his car. Wash his car. Yes, that's something you could do. All right, anybody else get ideas here? What else? Uh, help him vacuum. Yes, think of ways to make your dad happy. i tell you what you can do, and it makes him very, very happy. It's very easy. Give your dad a big hug and say, I love you. And do that to your grandpas, too, and your grandmas, and also to your mom. We love that. I love that when children hug me, my grandchildren. I learned to do that. Show appreciation to your parents and learn to say thank you when they do something nice for you. These are things that make your dad and mom happy. When dad got home from work that day, he was so surprised. Who has been working in the garden? And who raked the yard? Dad could not believe his eyes. There stood Teddy with the biggest smile ever. I did, Dad. Dad picked Teddy up and gave him a great big hug. Finally, Teddy realized he was happy. He had found this smile by helping others. When Teddy went back to the farm, he ran to Grandpa and jumped onto his lap. With a great big smile, he said, It works, Grandpa! It works! What works? asked Grandpa. Remember, you said if I wanted to find my smile, I must help others? That's right, nodded Grandpa. Well, said Teddy, I began making others happy, and now I have the biggest smile in the whole world. What was working here? All right, Mercy? Teddy's grandpa's advice to help others. Grandpa's advice to Teddy to help others. And you do that too. It will work. 
leave this place now, and you people too are watching this, and you parents, start focusing on helping others. And if you want a happy marriage, those who are listening to you parents, start helping your mates to be happy. Start doing kind things to one another. It works. The secret of happiness is making other people happy. It's just not only me, me, me. Make me happy. If that's your focus in life, you're going to be miserable. Start focusing on making others happy, and you'll be just like Teddy. From then on, wherever Teddy went, he led the way by making others happy. No longer was Teddy a grumpy bear. Now he had lots of smiles. His friends even gave him a new name, Smiley Bear. Best of all, Teddy never forgot Grandpa's lesson. Happiness comes by helping others. And now, an award-winning song from Character Kids. seem to find it. Can you help me? Well, I've got something missing. It's been gone for quite a while. Now I've got a question. Listen, can you help me find my smile? Oh, I've been feeling grumpy and all I do is frown. But when I'm helping others, yes, it turns my frown around. It makes me Peace. 